So I'm in Dollar Tree because what else should you do on a Saturday afternoon? And I go down the food aisle and this very nice elderly lady asks me to, can I ask you a question? And I'm like, sure. And she's holding a box of baking soda. She wanted to know if this is what you use to mix with vinegar to help clean off a very bad burnt food item. <laughs> so she said, well, I thought you looked like you might know not sure what that meant and I said well what happened and she serious so she had a serious burn issue in her crock pot like really bad she said even the top plastic cover was steamed up and messed up I didn't know what to tell her for sure but I said well I know ba people use baking soda a lot as a cleaning agent I did tell her not to worry and this kind of thing happens to everyone to which a random man pipes up in the back eh, doesn't ever happen to me so all I could really do was tell her, yes, I know vinegar and baking soda are good cleaning agents, and I'm sure she'll save her crock pot. Hopefully this advice works, and the vinegar and baking soda doesn't cause a chemical reaction that will cause old lady to explode. And those of you who know me know, yes, I am a person that burns food all the time. So moral of the story, I have that look. <laughs> Okay, postscript to what I had just shown you, which were actually Snapchats, where I was helping the lady in the grocery in the Dollar Tree store and told her, yeah, I think vinegar and baking soda are good to um, <laughs> clean. So um, I'm filming this several days after that. I talked to my girlfriend who was with her husband when she was watching my snaps, and he kind of just heard he knows me, and he's like, as she's playing them, he's like, no, no, oh my god, tell me Kathy didn't tell her it's okay to use baking soda and vinegar to clean. That's what you use when you make a volcano for a science project. The poor lady's going to explode. So, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I think he's right. I never did that science project. So I now envision that there is this poor lady who, the sweet little old lady who mixed vinegar and baking soda to clean her crock pot and had foaming mess all over her kitchen. Obviously, even though I look like someone that has burnt food before, not look like a person that knows how to clean it up. And, you know, I, I don't know. Why would she say that? Oh, I mean, she doesn't know me. Maybe these things have happened in my past? Oops. Yes, three years ago I went into surgery, fairly certain I had cancer, but the um, only way to know for sure was to do the surgery, so we didn't do a bunch of testing before we had no choice but to do the surgery. So I'm now three years cancer free, I'm very excited and I'm very thankful to my primary care doctor. And here is my, I don't preach very much, I try to keep whatever personal political views off this site, but I cannot advocate enough the importance of getting your annual physicals. That's all I'm going to say. I have people in my life that don't like going to doctors, they think it's crock, and while yes, there's a whole big debate whether the prescription drugs and all that and the money racket between insurance, um, I'm not dissing that there isn't issues with healthcare in America. However, if it were not for my primary care doctor and my annual physicals, my story would be very different. I may not even be here right now. 